Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to walk you through the creation of stem plot in matplotlib. Typically, based on the x and the y values, stem plot draws vertical lines from x-axis to y-axis and places a marker at the tip. Now let me explain you with an example on how the stem plot works. Consider this scenario where I want to understand the weather conditions of a country during different months of a year by using a chart. So for this purpose, I am going to use the stem plot. So I will have two arrays which are X and Y. X is going to hold the month details. The way I will be reading it is 2101 is nothing but 2021 January. The next one is 2021 February and so on. And I am going to have the month details till December 2022. And on the y-axis, I have the weather data. So I have got 24 temperature details here. So one for each month in the x-axis. They are 1 degree Celsius in Jan 2021, 2 degrees in Feb 2021 and so on. So to draw a stem plot, I will be calling the stem method by passing the x and the y values. And this stem method is going to show the chart containing vertical lines for each of the x values. Say for example, I have negative values. In that case, the format will look like a wave along the x-axis. Let me show that to you with an example. So, I have just given negative values for some of the months and the chart is going to look like this with the positive and the negative values. Few things to know about this stem plot is that the x-axis is optional. So let's say in this case, I have removed the X array from this code piece and the stem plot will still plot vertical lines based on the Y values. The next one is on the line format. So the chart will be displayed as a straight line. I also have other line formats which are dash line, dash dot line and dotted line. And in this example, I've given the line format to be dash dot. And the output is going to look like this, containing the dash and the dot rather than a single dash line. The other attributes and methods that can be used for the stem plot is given in the below reference link. Go ahead and try the stem plot for a set of discrete values to understand its pattern. 